What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Now, guys, Joe Button is under fire from black women and Evelyn Lozada herself because on his podcast, he talked about Megan the Stallion and this whole situation of victim bullying, right? And then every chance she has an opportunity to mention Tory Lanez in a negative way, she will do it. Even if it's not even about him, she will always take the position of, you know, trying to throw him underneath the bus. And Joe Budden is a public supporter of Tory Lanez, which is quite interesting because we know on Nicki Minaj's Instagram live, you know, he was really, really, really gassing her up and all kind of other stuff. But he then mentioned his ex-wife, Evelyn Lozada. And he felt like Meg the Stallion is doing Tory Lanez the same way that Evelyn Lozada does him. And that, you know, and, and it was some allegations that he beat her and she has posted pictures and stuff like that in the past to prove that he was abusive. But he was saying that every time that I'm doing something great, she will come out just to trash me just the same way that Meg the stallion is doing Tory Lanez that is called victim bullying you want to play the victim just so that you can bully the person in this case him okay and you can't even approve that the abuse has been done but you want to victimize me this is a very good point but see Joe Button unfortunately you can't play both sides. You're not going to be able to stay stand for the men when you have a lot of women that is in your fan base. So you're not in the manosphere, right? Um, or in the men's groups. So when you take an initiative like that, here come the women and the liberal blogs ready to trash you. Because remember when Fresh and Fit was disrespecting black women, then there you were, you know, rightfully so. Um, when and on Fresh and Fit, and within your case, in your history, it's probably would have been better for you to shut the hell up especially after you recently admitted like last year when you lost your cash app sponsor when you know you were harassing one of your employees in a sexual manner so you kind of have this thing about you that you're kind of a slimy guy all right and so when you mentioned that meg the stallion thing although it may have been true you shouldn't have said it because now everybody is coming for you the root is coming for you. Evelyn Lazada is coming for you. Okay. Everybody. And let me guys tell you this. Okay. And she's, and she's been going crazy and, and, and she's been, you know, exactly. You gave her more ammunition and then all the other women come after you. And let me just say this guys, what I've learned in social media, when you kind of have a history of allegations or something, sometimes it's better to just shut up like Joe button. Joe Button, you have lost sponsorships over your own fuck ups. Like, bruh, you talk too much. You try to toe the line, and you know you have a lot of fan people in your fan base that are in the in the female group. You try to like toe the line that way, and then you want to kind of you know speak up for you know certain things and to publicly come out and support Tory Lanes when you, I mean that's like the wrong thing for you to do. Even though I know that you might personally do that. But you should just shut up about that. That you shouldn't even weigh in on it. Now here they're going to come with all these things. So now you're under fire again. Stirring the hornet's nest. When it's something like this, you should have not even mentioned knowing your history. Then you're going to mention your ex-wife, Evelyn Lozada. You know that you just said it, right? It's so stupid. Every time she gets a chance to abuse me, she does. So why would you say that when you know that she's going to come out and say something? Now everybody in every blog in America is talking about you. So either you wanted the views or you want to be painting another light. Like every, every, every news about you ain't good, bro. Like, let me just say this. You have been losing the bag. I know his podcast kind of like, you know, came up. Um, I know he lost Rory and Mal. I think that Rory and Mal have shown that Rory and Mal are not 
an A-list podcast group. I think, you know, Rory and Mal, they're okay. In compared, you know, they're not like um, Joe Button or anything. I think that Rory and Mal kind of maybe have shown that. That, you know, they're not on that level. But you messed that up. All right? Like, Rory and Mal, like, they, they're not the truth like Joe. I got that now. All right? But what I, but what I want to say, man, is why don't you shut your goddamn mouth? Sometimes, let me just say this, guys. With certain things, when it comes to certain, you know, groups or certain issues, when you're a, 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 you have a, a name like Joe Button and you have some of the things that's alleged against him, bro, just shut up. Like, you're not going to win that war. Nobody ever is going to take your side. And if you publicly support Tory Lanes with a platform like you, you got endorsements and things, you're not, you're not Joe Rogan. Like, Joe Rogan can say what he want to say about Amber Heard. Bro, you don't come from that same kind of community. You have a lot of people in the urban community. And in the urban community, female dominated, bro. We already know. Any little thing that you say, especially it's not like Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels has a really, really strong male audience. He also has women that support him too. But we, but I will believe the majority of Kevin Samuels supports come from, from the men. It's almost obvious. You can't say that. Okay? You can't say that. Your opinion on this, and I'm going to tell guys, this, it's a lot of things that I want to talk about all the time on the platform. Personal things I want to talk about, I will never, ever mention it. Because it could get taken out of context, and then next thing you know, you're the R word, and I'm talking about race, okay? Or you're, 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 uh, you know, you're, you're a ma- ma- misogynist or a misandrist or whatever dressed they want to give you. You know, you dislike this group, or you hate this group. Certain things you can't even express or the fact that people are going to just take it out of, out of out of pocket. And people are not going to look at what you're saying. People are going to use the ad hominems. All right? And I, I just like I just did, but I'm just going to be real. So what he's saying, it makes sense. But what are people going to say? Well, look at what this is exactly what bloggers are going to do. Well, look at your past. You're talking about Meg the Stallion, but look at what you did. And he, then you opened up the door for that. By mentioning Evelyn Lozada's name. Bro, if she's a troublemaker, just ignore her. Why would you give a troublemaker what is called life? Life. Life. I don't give you life. That's that that's dusty. Why, bro? You don't need to do that. Just stop. Get to the bag, bro. You know what your audience is. You're not in the manosphere or men's audience. You get your support from corporate deals. Talk about Meg Thee Stallion in your own personal life. Talk about it with your personal friends off camera and give your opinions there. But then to bring up your ex-wife, bro. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junker. Make sure you follow what you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. Mm-hmm.